I have a TrendNet router, TEW818DRU. Uh, it's a nice router, except for the fact that uh, the parental controls are very lacking. I have my 12-year-old uh, granddaughter, and I want to block a lot of the websites and applications where she cannot use them. So, uh, TrendNet, I went into parental controls, but they're lacking. They're extremely lacking on their controls. It's a nice router except for that. So I had several options. I can uh, get a new router. Well, that could be pretty expensive. Or I can install DDWRT, which I did, and that, also, that had some uh, uh, good options for parental controls. Uh, what I was wanting to do was be able to specifically uh, block different uh, apps and websites for a specific uh, IP or MAC address. In other words, so she cannot use her iPhone uh, to access anything I do not want her to access. Uh, so I installed uh, um, WDRT and DDWDRT, and, but the problem is some of the uh, devices on my network would not work with it. So I tried for about three or four hours and could not get it to work, so I put the uh, stock stock control back on. Uh, then I kept digging around, digging around, and I come across Open DNS. Now, this gentleman here, Eli the Computer Guy, uh, Hello again. As he, you know, uh, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for EverymanIT.com. He gives you a good description for using the Open DNS network security. So I watched it two or three times to get all the information I needed, which worked great. So I went ahead and uh, checked out, well, you know, what is domain name? DNS. Okay, here's the information of what it is. And it's like uh, DNS is like a... a Phone, phone book, phone directory. When you type in yahoo.com or google.com, it goes out to a DNS server, which is usually provided by your uh, internet provider, which in my case is Comcast. That's my internet provider. So anyway, it goes out to the DNS server, and that matches it up with the IP address because every, every device that's on the internet has a definite IP address. But uh, anyway, that's that one. Uh, so the next... Um, So the next thing I come up with was installing the Open DNS. Okay, I wanted to install it on my router. Um, so in order for me to install it on my router, I had to um, okay to set it up on my TrendNet router. I had to go into the Advanced tab and go down to setup then go down to the WAN, the wide area network and that is my connection to the outside world the internet the wide wide world internet okay um, what I found using DNS as servers you add these two numbers here which either static IP addresses for uh, open DNSS this will never change so it's 2.08.67.222.222, and same thing for the second one, 220.220. Then you click Apply. Okay, now what that does, that uh, uh, connects and installs your direction so that when you uh, request a website, yahoo.com or google.com, it goes to open, uh, open DNS servers instead of my Comcast servers. And what it does, it filters out whatever I want. So moderate, low, high. Uh, so it filters out all those. Okay. Now, I can also add always block. I can add websites to that or never block. So change it here. So if I want to add a website, Never block. I could type in, uh, say, yahoo.com, a h o o dot c o m. Okay, add the domain. All right, it is never blocked. Now, if there's a website I wanted to block, if I wanted to block, uh, well, whatever. Let's say I wanted to block uh, 
Titan TV. T I T A N dot uh, Titan TV dot C O M. Okay, I always block it. Okay, now if I wanted to go to Titan TV, it's going to pop up. Okay, now after three minutes, it usually takes, they said it takes about three minutes. Now, once I go wait three minutes and try to go into TV.com, TitanTV.com to get a TV guide, it will block it. So I verified it that. So anyway, um, confirm. I'll block all of it. No, I'll just block Titan TV. Confirm it. Okay. Now, like I say, it is always blocked. Okay. But it says wait about three minutes and then try it again, and it will be blocked. Okay. But anyway, it will. But I'm not going to run this... Uh, video for three more minutes but anyway i verified it and whenever i add something to it it does block it so anyway that's what i wanted to show you so anyway open dn open dns works great for parental controls however everything is global in other words i was trying to uh, block individual ip or mac address devices it will not let me so when uh at least that I have not found it yet. So everything that I do here is global. So anything that's uh, blocked, it's blocked on any devices on my network. So not just the ones I want to specifically block. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.